You know, the first time I saw this stick, it was out by my woodshed out the side of the cottage. Just an ordinary stick, I thought, but I needed a stick. You know, when you come over to the Cotswolds from the States six months every year, instead of teaching over there, coming over to do my writing, walking over here is the big thing to do, but you got to have a stick. So I looked at this stick, and it was just an ordinary stick, really. So I took an old pocket knife, and as I was walking, I'd whittle away until I got all the knots off of it, and it was comfortable. It was the right height, sturdy, but really, it's just an ordinary walking stick. Except, funnily enough, it wasn't long before this became a daily companion. Sometimes I think it's a bit funny to be carrying around a stick. It's not as if mine were a legitimate walking stick, like the fancy one sold in all the tourist shops. Mine's so plain it's virtually nondescript. I wonder if walking sticks have something to do with memories of our youth. A good strong stick is a child's first weapon and symbol of strength. Those battles against imaginary evil forces in which the stick was wielded ferociously were indeed courageous and brave. Maybe it's a flashback to my youth that prompts me to carry a stick. I still take an occasional swipe at tall grass and unsuspecting dandelions. But lately, I wonder if it's not just the old man in me that insists on carrying a stick. Now, naturally, I shudder at the thought that my walking stick serves the same purpose as a cane. Canes are for doddering old men walking precariously down a level street. Someone like Zachariah said, once again, men and women of ripe old age will sit on the streets of Jerusalem, each with a cane in his hand because of old age. Mm -hmm. 